I found Mosquito Heaven. This little, this little lake up here, which is up on the headwaters of the Deschutes River. It's very reclusive, it's very wet, and uh, there's just tons of mosquitoes here. Today I'll be fishing the upper Deschutes near its headwaters in central Oregon's Cascade Mountains. Some reds where probably brookies have spawned, maybe rainbow coming in from the, the lake down below. The river here is narrow, clear, fast moving, tumbling under cut banks and in and out of small holes. Well, the technique I'm using today is just passing upstream with a, a sinking nymph, a weighted nymph, and I'm just letting it bounce its way down. Uh, it's real tight little currents in here. Um, probably the best places that you can find these fish are close to the undercut banks. What I really want to do is I want to get that fly underneath these as close to the bank as possible, especially under the cut banks. That's where the fish are. Now this is what you can expect to get up here in the upper Deschutes. Some nice, big, fat brook trout. This one's going home to be the centerpiece of tonight's fish chowder. The upper Deschutes flows into very popular Grain Prairie Reservoir and then flows a small distance down into Wickiup Reservoir. I'll be fishing at the confluence of the Deschutes River with Wickiup Reservoir today. Well, today is the 26th of May. I'm rolling out to my fishing hole out here in Wickiup. It's early. It's a little after 6. And I decided to get out here bright and early in the morning today rather than get out around 10 o'clock as I did yesterday and get there right at the end of the bite. Nice one. Nice fish. The winter of 2016 2017 was a real tough one on Wickiup Reservoir. As a result of lingering drought in central Oregon, the Deschutes River in the banks of Wickiup Reservoir was drawn way down, leaving little protection for the lake's trout population. Although Wikiup level is back up to its high water marks this year, it remains to be seen what effect the hard winter had on the trout population. I got them a little closer. 
Not quite ready. Come to the net yet. Nice, nice fat one. Like a brother to the other, a little fatter. Nice rainbow trout. Today I've moved about 80 miles downstream from the Central Cascades. I'm on the Middle Deschutes near the town of Warm Springs. I'll be fishing the renowned Deschutes River Salmon Fly Hatch for native red side rainbows. This section of the river is really very accessible if you don't mind walking or riding a bicycle. This is an old railroad bed. This area has some big back eddies in it. That's a hot day here in Central Oregon. It's going to be in the upper 90s and it's really important to keep hydrated and keep your, yourself cool. It's a good idea. You just get out and wade with no waders on if you're okay with that. The stonefly hatch consists of two stoneflies. The American stonefly, the largest, and the golden stonefly. The stonefly hatch is short in duration and makes for exceptional dry fly fishing. After the conclusion of the salmon fly hatch, nymph fishing takes over and is really the most popular method on the Deschutes. The fish were elusive so I decided to spend the night and try again in the morning when it would be a little bit cooler. Again, I've got him coming this way. Upstream. Yeah, we got him coming up now a little bit. Let's see if I can't get him in here. I didn't bring a net, which is probably going to make things a little more difficult, but what the hell? 
Just take my time. Here it comes. Starting to move up a little bit. Nice red side rainbow. Gorgeous. There he is. Get a little sun on him. Beautiful little fish. <laughs> 